Hey what's going on guys, Yanti vs Halo 3 here, aka the Denim Warrior, and today I'm going to be playing some Kill Confirmed on Favela, and this map brings back memories. I mean, this is probably like my second or third time playing this map on this game, but I played it non-stop in my offer too. You know, th that's that's where this map originated from, you know, everything's the same, it's not a, it's not a remake of, you know with different layouts to it and shit, you know, it's the exact same way it was. The only thing I know is different is probably just the all the Brazil and soccer stuff, you know, for the World Cup that was going on a few days ago. But uh yeah, I wanted to talk about something different today. You know, I've been talking about, you know, less plays and and I've been talking about, you know, what are the best things to do in game modes. But today, since I've been playing this map, you know, this map really did bring back a lot of memories. So I decided to talk about what has what went on when I was playing this game back in 2009 2010 so uh yeah for those who don't know when I in 2009 and 2010 that was like my freshman year of high school you know I was just starting off to turn 14 and this the game hasn't the game wasn't out yet you know I wasn't really new to you know the internet and stuff I was actually living in the the stone ages to be honest with you because I could play like a single I could play video games all day but never touch online because I didn't have it and I got used to it but when I got this game you know it, I didn't have online so all I did non-stop was play spec ops and and uh what else and spec ops and campaign in my offer too you know those are things that are available and then I would do system link with uh online if I ever wanted to play with a friend you know I'd go over to their house and I would play this game nonstop for probably two years straight. I never went outside. People thought that I was dead or <laughs> dead or I moved to a different state. But I I came outside one day and told them I was perfectly fine. <laughs> I just been too busy getting used to you know the internet and multiplayer. And my offer too. I'm not gonna lie. I sucked ass in that game. Like, I really did. Well, at the beginning, I should say. I sucked ass, you know. I came online thinking that, oh, it's going to be easy. And then, they put me in the map Rust. I know. They put they put a beginner, put a noob, in Rust. Which is, which is kind of stupid, if you ask me, you know. And that was before they patched a lot of this shit, you know. And you can get it to a ground war or a, a regular... 6v6 game on Rust, you know, and they end up patching it and just making it for team tech only. And this is, you know, this is probably one of the favorite games that I did play around that time, you know. I really didn't talk to a lot of people. I had, uh, hold my knife. I had, <laughs> I had like a short amount of friends my freshman year. I did talk to a lot of people, but they weren't really considered friends. And I did have crushes, I'm not gonna lie, you know, you're you're in high school, you know, and that's like the first thing you do think, like, oh man, wh which one of these sexy girls gonna end up talking to me? I'm thinking I'm gonna be a cool kid and stuff, you know, I'm wearing, I'm wearing Echo and all that shit, you know, I went from Gucci to Walmart in my years from being in junior high and transferring to a high school, you know, I was a loser. Which every freshman is, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not doubting any freshman, you know, I've seen a lot of freshmen date seniors, and they were boys, so I didn't know how they did that, but it surprised me, you know, and I don't know how I, how I stayed, now I think about it, I don't know how I stayed two years in my house, and I stopped just playing Mario for two, and towards the end of like you know when I was finished with the game you know I was wrapping it up because I really don't get on Xbox as much you know my membership ran out and I looked at my stats you know probably like a month or two ago I have almost 40 days played on that game legit 40 days legit which is really good slash sad if you ask me especially for a 14 year old at the time you know instead of you going out you know chasing girls and and making new friends and hanging out and stuff. You're you're in the house playing games, talking to your Xbox buddies, where you will never probably meet them in reality. And they did end up being good friends. You know, I still talk to one of my good buddies from Xbox. You know, actually, I still talk to like two or three of them. You know, they're actually considered you know personal friends. They I can talk to them about anything I want. You know, I could probably trust them before I could trust somebody that actually lives near me. Which is crazy, but you know, if you are a gamer, you know that that feeling as a a person that you get to know over multiplayer, you know, online, you do grow a bond with that person. Now, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, 
I noticed that I was using the uh, the MTAR a lot recently, so I decided to switch it up to the Remington. I am using the Red Dot and the Muzzle Brake on it, you know. It's a okay gun, you know. It's actually overpowered in my opinion, but a lot of these guns are too strong. They do all need to be patched, but I'm not complaining, you know. It is getting me killed, so why complain on that? And, uh, moving on from that, <laughs> what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah, back to my freshman year. I remember when I first started playing online, my voice was horrible. I mean, my voice sounded like Minnie Mouse was the man in the relationship. I'm not even kidding you. My voice was my voice was really high pitched, you know, and then I was short at the time, you know, I was the tallest I was in my freshman year of high school was probably Fab three or Fab Four. It, which is I don't know, if it was short, you know, for it, it probably is short. But I end up I end up growing over the summer, you know, just sitting at home sleeping and playing video games. It actually did help me grow out a lot. You know, I outgrew my brother, you know, and it was it was a really good time playing this game. And just being in this lobby right now, playing these kids, you know, getting on top of the rooftops and jump from rooftops, which I failed epically right there. Jump from rooftops, uh, let's see, going in an ice cream shop. And I would just go behind the bathtub and just call out Chopper Gun or AC-130, you know, and just, <laughs> and then just, you know, crush people around the map, you know, and I would usually play Domination on this map. I'd make sure that they were, uh, spawning at, which, which side was it? Which side was it where I made sure they spawned? I think I made sure they spawned where I spawned at the beginning of the map, you know, I made sure they spawned there. I forgot that was considered A or C. I, I forgot. Leave a comment if you know the answer to that, but... I don't really remember why I stayed in the house too much. There was another, oh, that was another reason. <laughs> before this game came out, you know, before Mario 2 came out, I got caught stealing at Walmart for, you know, for a little laser tag. I got caught with my buddy. And my my mom had to come to the, had to come back and, you know, had to come pick me up. And she was pissed off. I mean, she was pissed off. And as soon as I got home, oh, it was over. I got my ass kicked in sessions. I'm not even joking. I can... <laughs> she said, I ain't raising no skills in this house. You ain't nothing to this motherfucker. I'm gonna kick your ass. <laughs> she just whooped my ass like in sessions, man. Like, last, like, when I looked at the clock, it was probably like, eight, probably like nine o'clock. You know, I, I didn't get finished getting my ass whooped until, until a good, like, you know, 1025. You know, and, and I'm talking. I'm talking Century Town, so that shit goes back slow, and I mean really slow. I got my ass handed to, and I, I was, I was on punishment, you know, for the rest of the year before the game came out. So this all happened around like late October. I was on punishment until like you know the end of the year, and that gave me a lot of time to you know stay at home playing video games, doing stuff, and right, right around the time when I did get internet, I was considerably still on punishment, you know. I w well, actually, no. I probably just stayed in the house because I got used to the internet. I didn't want to leave. You know, I was I was new to it, and I actually enjoyed it. <laughs> and people kept asking me when I came. I said, "You still on punishment? You still on punishment? I heard you got your abs beat. I can't hear you from across the street." I was like, "Nah, man. I've been in the house playing the Call of Duty because my offer too is that shit. <laughs> if you haven't played it, you go ahead and pick it up for like what twenty dollars? I think twenty or fifteen dollars a day." It's actually worth banned because there isn't modded lobbies from, from what I've heard. But I do hear there is modded lobbies on the PlayStation version for it. So your best bet is if you have an Xbox, pick it up. It'll be a short range of people playing it, but it's actually worth it because they're not hackers. And even if they are, they suck ass and you can beat them at their own shit, which I did a few months ago. I don't know how that happened. What was I talking about? Uh, oh, yeah, what, what did I want to tell you guys? I'm having a lot of fun telling you guys about my freshman year of high school. That all happened in 2009, which is ridiculous, you know. But in the long run, I ended up growing up and actually enjoying myself. And oh, that's what I wanted to. That's what I wanted to tell you. You know, my freshman year, I did spend a lot of time with my grandma. You know, I would go over her house. You know, play internet. Once I did get into Call of Duty, I go over her house. You know, spend night with her on weekends. <laughs> and she always just come down to the basement, hold my knife. She always come down to the basement and ask me, you know, what am I doing? Are you okay? You still breathing? You know, you're down here all the time. 
I'm like, no, Grandma, that's okay. I love it to death. Hey, what are your favorite moments in Modern Warfare 2? Or what does it remind you of? You know, does it bring back any type of memories? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. I left a link to my last video in the description, so be sure to check that out if you missed it. This is the Doom Warrior signing out. Peace out, killers.